Hello everyone and welcome to Goddess Primal Chaos. Um, this is my second character on the Europe servers. This current server is 247 and it's been created I think three weeks ago. Um, and so I'm gonna show you this character, what I've done and my future my goals until the next video um, so let's start by showing you on the rankings I'm number 11 on PvP power soon to be number 10 because this player left the game 342 PvP um, in terms of power I'm number 25 and level I'm number 30 I just got to level 90. On heroes, I'm ranked 15 with my exo hero Minerva, 50 star, is number 15. My mount is uh, really bad for now. I didn't waste gems on my on my mount. So yeah, it's a white hive. I know many people already evolved a lot or have gear on it. On, go on goddesses I'm unranked because I didn't waste any spirit on on goddesses. I'll start wasting uh, spirit when I when I unlock um, Joanna of Arc. That will take some time. I will play on um, Twilight level 93 and get fragments to unlock also with this event let me already show you that we are on Amania F event I will not waste any single gem on on this event uh, I'm saving all I can from um, from wish scrolls so I can get uh, Amania, normal Amania, and then I get uh, Narcissus or Nyx, and after those, I will go to um, Amania F. But now to show you my uh, character, this is VIP Zero. I didn't recharge any single gem here. Level 90 now. 20k attack, it's it's okay um, if you don't have the go-to weapon or ring. But at level 91, I will um, unlock. You can see my um, partnership ring, level 12. I'll try to do tempo every day. The magic ring, level 14 and 41 star. For now giving me uh, 207 PvP power, 140 uh, toughness, and of course 1k attack. And to talk about other stats, here they are, almost 1700 uh, crit and parry, dodge is not that high, and toughness is 3.3k, deadly 1200 now the deadly changed a couple months ago I think already a, a year ago or, or two that the deadly function changed so now it's more needed on the exo it's only needed on the char after the exo and endo die still needed of course damage plus of course affected by the mount is not that high, but I already upgraded the damage per percent, and I can show you the gems after this. Um, also, the shape sh the shape shift I upgraded to level one uh, today, so of course a boost on attack damage plus HP minus damage, which is uh, very good. Now let's look at the heroes. We can look in the setup first. Yeah, this has no treasure, 
uh, the fallen god Lucifer. So you already can expect not good uh, stats. My Yuna has 24k attack and uh, 1100 crit. I, I want to upgrade this more because it's the highest attack I have. At 60 star, uh, it will give 20%, so it's it's good. And 4.7k damage plus. But on the Minerva, which is my my top hero, 45k, almost 46k power. 356k HP. It's not too high because it's not uh, it's not Gabriel. You can notice now I got I got lucky on a mystery store, and I got the um, the parry level treasure, which is really good. At level 50, gives me. Um, 1250 parry very very good but of course I want to um, upgrade parry more and for refining I have to use this one which is stupid by the way as I'm recording this um, it's stupid that to refine you have to upgrade to refine this one but to level up you have to level this one in my opinion, it's pretty stupid, uh, but yeah, it's this game. I'm trying to put this level 35, so I increase dodge, and if you can see, 1800 parry, 3108 toughness, 2500 deadly, I think it's, it's good. It's not super high, but it's not also low. It's good, especially knowing that the, the treasures are level 30 um, minus damage 6372 I also have the title which gives me more minus damage it's the partnership title I can actually activate it here I didn't decide to go for the HP character one it's the, the HP that gives it's very very low so not really worth it on the protection, now I'm upgrading parry and dodge. On the exolite, on the exodark, minus damage and toughness. Minus damage is not well upgraded yet, but I'll get there. Focus first, really, on parry and toughness, and also minus damage. Um, deadly will come from from treasures and artifacts. You don't need to do do it on the protection. There are also people who do uh, crit on the exo, but I. But in the beginning, I don't really recommend that. I recommend actually doing toughness and minus damage, and then when you have the the four cards, the four minus damage cards from the clan on advanced, then you change from minus damage to crit, so you get bonus uh, crit. But really, the EXO is hard to, to get crit into. It's better to to get from the from the endo. The endo I didn't upgrade much. Plus damage and deadly, it's what you should upgrade on the light and on the dark. It's um, there are some people who do attack crit, but I prefer to do toughness and crit because toughness is important everywhere, and. Um, The, the impact of upgrading toughness here, it's much more than upgrading attack. Um, the attack you need to upgrade a lot, and what you upgrade on attack is like 2k, 3k. It's, it's not much, um, but toughness you can upgrade a lot and improve your situation. Toughness on the end though, also can make that difference. Uh, when it's the the toughness of EXO plus ENDO plus the uh, SHAR against the opponent. Sometimes toughness on the ENDO can make the difference. So you gotta upgrade toughness everywhere. Even even on the ploy in the future. I can tell you what I normally play, upgrade on the deploy. But of course after these two are level 10. Deadly on dodge on the light and on the dark. Toughness and crit. 
it's what I what I upgrade. And it's re very simple. The other stats you upgrade with vipers. Even minus damage that can be important to keep your vipers alive. All of these minus damage attack, p death, HP, M death, plus damage. It's all upgraded by um, by vipers, so it's really useless to upgrade on the protection. What you really need, dodge, deadly. Parry can have some, but um, it's more effective to have uh, dodge because normally you'll get magical attacks. Uh, on the deploy, especially on the clan, uh, you want to keep it alive and you can attack your deploy and kill it. And there goes your pterosaur. So, so yeah. So it's it's an objective for for the future to have, at least on the on the exo, the most toughness, minus damage, and parry I can have. And on the end of the crit, the plus damage. Yeah, I showed you the treasure, so you already know I didn't unlock much. I didn't unlock runes or anything like that. You can see on the training, most of what I'm upgrading for now it's on the exo until I max. Of course, sometimes I get into the endo because also the attack is it's important here for now, uh, and also deadly toughness. Everything is important. And, but at this early stage you don't get that much whistles and please don't waste gems on, on whistles. Yeah, also on the event I got Belandry on a free egg. <laughs> so very lucky, but for now I'll not upgrade. But maybe I could have uh, Belandry here at 50 star. It could be a good addition, addition to to the exo while I don't have 60 star but too much work when I get 60 star I get 30% parry and by then I prefer to have the other one. Oh let me show you the goddesses. Yeah I have pretty much the basic goddesses. Anna I got plus four because of the daily uh, fragments that I got but I didn't really if I show you on the X mash I here on the pack, you can really see I unlocked uh, Aurora because I'll need to up to unlock all of them. But I'll I'll only start doing that here on Drone of Arc or maybe on the on the Hera too because she's pretty important. But other than that, I'll get Aurora fragments by uh, Twilight. And once I got them, uh, I will be saving uh, spirit for enchanting my heroes, and later on for vipers. So I upgrade the pterosaur level and cliff level. Now the mount, the mount I already show you, it's the white hide. I only got the shitty <laughs> gear, 160 m death. And this is what I'm talking about on gems. I decided to put half deadly and half attack. For now, I'll, it will stay like this. But after I unlock gems on the exo, I can move the deadly ones into the exo. But basically, I'm I'm using damage plus on and toughness on all of the spots possible for gems. And uh, the third one. Half of them are attack, half of them are deadly. And what I'm doing here is I'm already using uh, the gem blessing, um, which in fact increases my damage plus percent, which is really really good later on. For now, it's not that good because uh, my damage plus is it's low, but. As far as it goes in the game, when your damage plus gets up and you get also uh, damage plus percent from other stuff like dragon skills, you can get it from the godly weapon level uh, and many other stuff, um, then it becomes really really valuable. It really makes a difference, just like immune percent of, on Exo. 
So yeah, the, the strategy here, it's really simple. Instead of making a lot of level 6, for example, I could make this level 7 gem into 3 level 6. And of course, if I wasted all of the gems, it will be uh, 0.24 on 4 gems. Um, however, it's a waste of, uh, of gems for now. I can get 0 0.72 with only wasting uh, 600 gems, which is better. I could get them from the chocolate event, but the chocolate event didn't happen on this server, so it sucks. But yeah, focus first on the weapon, try to get the highest gem level as possible on the weapon. And then when you get like level 9, uh, in the case of not having sage uh, stones, move into the ring and then into the bracelet and etc. And yeah, speaking on that, I can't uh, break down gems, so I can't already do this. I will have to wait until I max my... Until I put my damage plus gem level 5. Yeah. Yeah, so that's it guys. Thank you for watching and... Take care everybody. I'll let you know how this character is progressing. <laughs> See ya.